we please welcome our next two players, a former English Open finalist, Mark Davis, and a semi-finalist in last season's Welsh Open, Tian Pengfei. We've already seen a 50-something go through to finals day this year at the shootout in the shape of the Sheriff of Pottingham, Anthony Hamilton, Cam Mark Davis, now 51 years of age, follow suit. Managed to stay on the tour when he thought he'd lost his place for the first time since 1991 when he lost a black ball finale to his good mate Joe Perry in World Championship qualifying, but following the suspensions in light of the match-fixing scandal, he was informed by World Snooker that, in fact, his place remained intact, so that was a huge boost for him. He's been a terrific player down the years, as mentioned by Phil just now. 2018 English Open runner-up to Stuart Bingham. It was a tight final. He lost 9-7. Six other ranking semi-final appearances. But Tian Peng Fei, he is China's Mr. Cool, isn't he? And, of course, he produced that remarkable result last season on his way to his first ranking semi-final at the Welsh Open, whitewashing... Ronnie O'Sullivan, so this should be interesting, Fergal. Yeah, it was interesting actually how he broke. Uh, he didn't play the traditional swing around, he just played a more plain ball. The white came back between the yellow and brown. But he ended up the same result, he still left this red. But that might be something we might see even maybe tomorrow. Players will be very fearful of leaving a red from the break, which of course could potentially be their only shot to play. Hopefully they don't take it to Mark Williams' extreme. Roll up. <laughs> well, of course, Williams lost the final to Hussain Vafai, having played just one shot. The break off Vafai then made 70 odd, and that was the end of that. <laughs> Davis has been to semi finals of the shootout before, he's played in every event. Tian's best run was the last 16, that was four years ago, and this is his 11th shootout appearance. Yeah, even if this match was over a, a longer distance, best to nine, it would be very hard to separate them. Both very good in all departments. Beat the women's world champion by Pat Suripapon in the opening round, Davis. And for Tian, it was the late replacement for Martin Gould, former champion, of course, here at the shootout, Alex Taldman of Wales. Very smooth cueist is Tian. Good to watch when he's in full flow. The crowd definitely getting into it the more this tournament unfolds. And, of course, tomorrow is the big day. Five rounds in a single day as the field is whittled down from 32 to 2. And then, of course, just the one. And the champion is crowned. And we'll have the draw later on this evening for round three tomorrow. Yeah, massive arena. You can imagine tomorrow night if that's full, particularly with being, there have been so many Welsh players left in it. Be very noisy. We've already lost both the champion and the runner-up from last year, of course, Chris Wakelin and Julian Leclerc. Never had a multiple champion in this tournament. We've had players reach multiple finals. A cagey opening. But there was space for the red past the black, and suddenly here's an opening for Tian Penfei. It's a wonderful new venue. Everyone has spoken so highly of the facilities here at the Swansea Arena. Can't wait for tomorrow. It's going to be some climax. It won't be for the faint-hearted, Fergal. No, oh, absolutely. <laughs> Seen oven gloves there. There might be a case for earmuffs tomorrow night. <laughs> oh, terrific pot. Crowd enjoyed that one. Hi. 
ideal position now in the blue if you can just stun down if choice of reds might even be possible in a couple of shots maybe to put the pink into the middle which will just make it a great opportunity um. See there, just short of the blue. Had a little look to try and find out exactly where it looked the white for the next mid range red. And although he's never won a full blown ranking event, he's certainly very adept at shortened versions of the game. He's won the six Reds World Championship on two occasions, back to back, in fact, 2012 and 13. And he's jawed the red. So just an eight-point lead. This is bubbling up into what could be a very tight finish. Oh. Tian can't believe he's overcut that one. And the cue ball's travelling back to the business end. Not happy with that one. Oh, goodness, it's catching. It's getting edgy. What's happened here? Yeah, bridging over it. Must have lent on one of the reds. Goodness me. Good spot well. by the referee and quickly. Well, how important is that going to be? It could be fatal from Tian Peng Fei's point of view. We'll see. There's already eight points adrift. Ball in hand for Davis, of course, because of the foul. Yeah. Alex Chrisan, our eagle-eyed referee. Yeah. Pink actually goes in the blue spot. Bit Let's more have a look room. at this. Must have just touched one of those reds close to the side cushion with his shirt. Yeah, and of course, with only having 10 seconds, you don't have the time to be conscientious and make sure you're not fouling the ball. Well, that would be a horrible way for Tian to bow out. He's got to hope that that doesn't prove to be his last action of the tournament, but it could be. It could be. Because he had a shot at the red as well. It wasn't overly difficult for his pot. Crowd inevitably calling for the yellow, but Davis is in the zone here. He's all about getting the W, and he's well on his way. 19. 31 in front now. Still time for Tian, but it's running out, and Davis is still in possession. But he's missed that red. There's been a lot of reds missed into that left corner in the last couple of minutes or so. So Tian does get a reprieve. What can he do with it? Yeah, that's two shots marks had with the rest to the same pocket and missed them the same side. He said there's still time. Those two reds practically touching. They will go into the middle pocket. If you can get there. Glance would be no harm either. Definitely life left in this match. 25 now the difference. Seven. And he is a very smooth cueist, Tian Peng Fei. Not easily rattled. He's not landed nicely there, though. A little shake of the head. This is awkward. Very close to the red. Is it good? Is it good? No. He knew as soon as he landed in such close proximity, he was in a bit of bother. It's not worked out for him, and that could be his last chance gone. Yeah, as soon as he struck the white, you could see him trying to steer with the cue after he's gone. Again, it ended up being quite a good opportunity, particularly a couple of reds around where the pink were, but... Mark will be relieved now. Thanks. And ever-present at the shootout, now in his 52nd year. 
with a very proud record of having remained a professional for over three decades now, Mark Davis. Very likeable fellow, an outstanding snooker player. And entertaining thoughts of what he might be able to do on finals day, because he certainly threw in that regard. There is the offer of congratulations from Tian Pengfei. It was quite edgy and nervy, that one. And Tian had a couple of chances. He couldn't take them. Mark Davis relieved as he mops his brow to go through to the round of 32. The new and improved UCI TCL app is here. Elevate your race experience with access to exclusive live data and onboard cameras. And join the new Fan Zone, where fans...